Hi all, I'm Om Shankar. First of all, a very big thanks to JSFU for uh, giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak at their conference. I have been following JSFU for a very long time and uh, I have known people uh, who have inspired me and I've seen them speaking at JSFU, giving wonderful uh, seminars and uh, tech talks and conducting workshops. So. I'm very, very glad that this is my first time opportunity at JSFU and I also got a chance to contribute to what JSFU is doing. Uh, about myself, I have been a web development engineer right from the starting of my career and I have been working with companies which are into the web. Uh, I was with Adobe Systems and then Walmart Labs and then right now I'm at Amazon uh, as a web development engineer and a user interface specialist. So I build products into the web and most of it is uh, most of the time and intelligence is spent in uh, rendering the product into into the browser and that is nothing but your front end and then there comes a lot of javascript so javascript has always uh, kept me excited and yeah so the topic i'm bringing over here is uh, uh, at this conference is webrtc collaboration with html5 and uh, javascript uh, i have been inspired by html5 when i was in adobe systems and they are doing a very good work in html5 and i be believe that html5 is the key to the future of web applications right now we don't use just websites we use uh, web as application we uh, drag drop files into the browser we play music uh, like sound.com and or any other website that you know uh, we also do a lot of things which are not just consuming the information so we would say uh, web has evolved really a lot and all of the all of this power comes from html5 uh, features and html5 features stand on the javascript base why because most of the features that you work into html5 are uh, uh, only accessible using javascript apis so the very reason to uh, this talk and why people should attend this talk is that it is related with javascript very much and html5 is the new happening so uh, all the javascript developers should not be uh, refraining themselves from it and they should be very well a, uh, a part of this uh, new happening they should contribute to the web uh, they should let the web move forward and bring in more features more cool stuff so that we have a very very uh, good internet ecosystems in which we can deploy our applications and uh, make those applications publicly accessible accessible on multiple devices a uh, lot of things are there and uh, I'm really excited by HTML5 and this talk would therefore only uh, be successful to only uh, those people who are equally excited by either HTML5 or JavaScript or both or at least they want to see cool stuff. So um, that's it to it. Uh, thanks a lot and I hope you'll enjoy this talk. Thank you very much.